in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Lord, send forth your Spirit, and you will renew the face of the earth. O God, who instructs the hearts of your faithful, with the light of your Holy Spirit, make us responsive to his inspirations so that we may be truly wise and even rejoice in his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Day 2 St. Louis' Influence on the Church There's a story from St. Louis de Montfort's life that particularly expresses his passion, which we pondered just yesterday. In the town of Pontchateau, St. Louis inspired the peasants to build a huge monument to the Passion of Christ on a neighboring hill. For 15 months, Hundreds of peasants volunteered their skills and labor to build it. When completed, it stood as a massive structure, a real labor of love, and on the day before it was supposed to be dedicated by the bishop, word got back to Louis that his enemies had convinced the government to destroy it. They had lied to the authorities saying that the structure was actually meant to be a fortress against the government. When Louis received this disappointing news, he told the thousands of people who had gathered for the blessing ceremony, We had hoped to build a Calvary here. Let us build it in our hearts. Blessed be God. One thing about doing the Lord's work, it doesn't always turn out according to our plans. For example, Saint Louis surely had planned that his monument to Christ would last more than a day. Yet, the saint obediently accepted the destruction of his plans and blessed God. Because of this kind of detachment from his own will and attachment to God's, Louis became an instrument used by God to accomplish even mightier works. So, although his physical monument was destroyed, Louis' teaching eventually became a huge edifice in the church that exercised great influence on many popes and on Catholic spirituality. Indeed, De Montfort's passionate labors paid off in the end, even if he didn't see the fruit himself. As we are just beginning our preparation for a consecration to Jesus through Mary, let's ponder some of the support various popes have given to St. Louis' teaching. May the testimony of their support strengthen our resolve to journey onto Consecration Day and may it help us to trust that our consecration truly will bear fruit in our lives even if we don't yet fully understand how. Blessed Pope Pius IX stated that St. Louis' devotion to Mary is the best and most acceptable form. Pope Leo XIII not only beautified De Montfort in 1888, but granted a church indulgence to Catholics who consecrate themselves to Mary using De Montfort's formula. Moreover, this Pope was reportedly so influenced by St. Louis' efforts to spread the rosary that he wrote 11 encyclicals on this preeminent Marian devotion. 
Pope St. Pius X, like Leo XIII, also recommended De Montfort's teaching on Mary to the faithful. In fact, he granted a plenary indulgence in perpetuity to anyone who would pray De Montfort's formula for Marian consecration, and he offered his own apostolic blessing to anyone who would simply read true devotion. This Pope so strongly encouraged the faithful to follow De Montfort's path of Marian devotion because he himself had experienced its power. In fact, in his Marian's encyclical Adium Ilium, the saintly Pope expressed his own dependence on De Montfort in writing it, which becomes obvious when one compares it with true devotion. The Pope's encyclical continually reflects the tone and spirit of De Montfort's classic work as evidenced by sentences like this. There is no surer or easier way than Mary in uniting all men with Christ. Pope Pius XI simply stated, I have practiced this devotion ever since my youth. Venerable Pope Pius XII canonized St. Louis in 1947 and, in his homily for the Mass of Canonization, referred to De Montfort's Marian teaching as solid and right. Then, when the Pope addressed the pilgrims who had come for the canonization, he said that De Montfort leads us to Mary and from Mary to Jesus, thus summarizing the meaning of Marian consecration. Blessed Pope John Paul II promoted De Montfort's teaching more than any other Pope. We'll learn more about this during the fourth week of the retreat. It's enough here to recall two amazing facts. First, that John Paul's papal motto was totus tutus, which means totally yours, which he took directly from De Montfort's shorter prayer of consecration. Second, that John Paul described this reading of true devotion to Mary as a decisive turning point in his life. Today's prayer. Come Holy Spirit living in Mary, prepare me to give myself fully to living out this true and solid devotion. Let us now pray the litany. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven have mercy on us. God the Son Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Redeemer, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, 
pray for us, Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us, Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us, Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us, Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us, Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us, Mirror of Justice, pray for us, Seat of Wisdom, pray for us, Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Comforter of the Afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, Pray for us, Queen of Angels, pray for us, Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us, Queen of Prophets, pray for us, Queen of Apostles, pray for us, Queen of Martyrs, pray for us, Queen of Confessors, pray for us, Queen of Virgins, pray for us, Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of the Family, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech you, O Lord God, that we, your servants, may enjoy lasting health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, ever Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enter into the joy of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>